What's up? What is going on? What's everybody else up to? It's going. It's going. What's up, Bella? I'm good. I am good. Getting ready for this. What is it? Um, the storm that's coming from Florida over here. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. What's up, Bad Brad? Dispin, what's up? Yaldo, what's going on? Rodrigo, what's up? Out of service, out of work. Gotta fix it, man. Doing a five color print. Everybody else up to? Yeah, trying to fix this. Eddie, what's up, man? Going good. Michelle, what's going on? Elsa, yeah, that's who it is. Yeah, I just started pouring down rain over here. So I'm trying to finish this before hopefully the power don't go out here. Power goes out here. That's not good. what I'm printing right here look that's the back Nikki what's up so that's the back and then we're doing this exact same print in the front design a shirt we just started charging to design shirts because we weren't charging yeah it's Elsa we weren't charging for uh, artwork at first and it became a really big hassle because we'd spend a lot of time um, not um, charging and spend a lot of time on the artwork and then whenever you would complete the artwork the customer would be like the customer would be like no well, let's change it yeah that's what we're doing too 25, yep. I was like, we need to start charging because we're spending too much time um, designing shirts and not getting nothing out of it but the, the job, you know what I mean? So we ended up, now we, now we charge. this like the wet 
Yeah, I just told you that was gonna go. Per hour, nice. We just charge, I just charge $25. We just charge 25 to create it. Nice. If you can't make it, that's cool, just whenever. Kel, what's going on? It was good. The, the thing about 4th of July is I was posting all these little clips about going out and taking the trailer out there. And then um, we ended up taking the trailer back to my house, right? And we had to get, what did we have to get? The generator? No, we the generator. Yeah, I didn't leave the generator in the trailer. So, the, till Friday, the sales till Friday. So we took the, ooh, she brought me dinner. But, um, so we got the trailer all ready to go, you know what I mean? And then I got everything packed up, all the shirts, all the tumblers, all the, what else do we have? The generator, um, chairs, the little canopy thing, a whole bunch of stuff, right? And then we take off. We leave. The last thing I did was take a, take a little photo. Uh, oh, 35. See, Emily corrected me, it's 35, not 25. But we, uh, I took a little video clip and I sent it to my family and was like, oh, I wish y'all were here to help us out with this or whatever. And then that was the last I saw of, saw of my phone, right? So I didn't get to, we, I didn't get to, I was like excited because I was going to be out there filming people while they were screen printing shirts. So that was cool. You know what I mean? We got people came up, screen printed their shirts. And then the girls were up in the front and we had pre-made um, designs already printed. Let me show you. So the, the back of the trailer, the back of the trailer, we were printing, screen printing, and the front, I don't know if you can see this, it's like a plastic salt transfer, and this one says, land of the free, home of the brave, and then this one says, I stand for the flag, I kneel for the cross, stuff like that. We had stuff like this in the front of the trailer, and we were selling both of them out of there. So it was a, it was a pretty good event. It was not my first event. I didn't know what to expect, you know what I mean? I was hoping for more, but... Um, it was what it was, you know what I mean? It was our first event, and we did we did okay. I would say that, you know what I mean? But in all, it was it was a good experience, you know what I mean? So now now I know what to expect um, whenever we do the next one, you know what I mean? So it was good, though. It was good. Oh, and then I did find my phone. Um, we actually, when we got back to the house, uh, my sister-in-law was, like, logged into my Google account, and then was, like, find my phone, and it was actually... The neighbor found it in the street and put it in their mailbox. Put it, stuck it in their mailbox so that as she was clicking to find my phone, it was beeping. So we ended up finding it. Thank God it didn't die because we probably wouldn't have found it. You know what I mean? base on there no you probably can't see it from there let's bring it a little bit closer put the white under belt martine what's up put the white under base on there let's see so this has a white under base and then we put the gray and then i just hit it with the the blue i hate when they leave these things on there then i just hit it with the blue now i'm gonna do the black So there's the black.
That's like a random one random polyester shirt that they threw in here. So there's our black and then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring around this one. It's just a white highlight and what it does, let me show you on this one. The white highlight is basically going to do this line around the, the roof and then this line that goes around the outside. So it's just the roof, the white of the roof and the white right there. So let's do this. You see I, could, I got both of them on where so this is what it is right here, what I'm printing. This is what I printed in the back. Now I'm doing the, the chest piece. And that looks good. I'll show you whenever I, uh, I bring it back around. What's that? I saw you got the shrink wraps too. So here it is right here. Look at that. It looks good. So the white highlight went around the roof and then inside the white, the white went inside or well, between the gray and the blue. Chest piece. There's the front, and there's the back. Looks good. Huh? I saw the post on the vinyl stand. Someone posted the, the, the silicone wrap. Yeah, I guess Bell did. Appreciate it, beard, beard box. I'll look at it in a little bit, Gina, because if I do that, it's going to mess up this whole thing. But Lori bought me dinner, so I gotta eat real quick. Oh, look at those. Yes. Yeah, please. Lori brought me dinner, so I have to eat. I'm gonna eat real quick. Can you grab me a water and one of those flavored teas? They're right there by that pe that jar of peanut butter under the microwave. Oh, look at Lori. She hooked it up. They're like, you're going to come home and eat? I'm like, nope, I'm not going to make it. So she, she brought it. She she um, she um outdid Rye. Yeah. Also, we just hit one year. We just hit, yeah, she did. We just hit one year at the vinyl stand. The vinyl stand's been open for one year, so that's what's up. No prayer first. Uh, I don't do that, Gina. That's just, that's just me. Um, but yeah, we just hit one year. We hit one year at the vinyl stand yesterday. So that's what's up. You guys need anything we're doing 15 percent 15 percent off of um your entire purchase not like a heat transfer warehouse they're doing 10 percent trying to be like me why are you trying to be like me can't you do your own thing dude but yeah we're doing uh 15 percent 
Appreciate it, Martine. Thanks, Gina. One year. Crazy, man. Crazy. Um, we've outgrown that store in one year. <laughs> I was like, you can't even share mine, Gina. What's up with that? What's up with that, Gina? I need to, I need to download StreamYard. I think that's what everybody's using now so that I can get people on here. I wasn't mad, Gina. I was just like, it's just, it is what it is. But yeah, we're doing 15% divine stand. Um, who? Me? Hmm. Hooked it up. You're up. I saw your. So. I'm confused, Gina. I don't know what you're talking about, Gina. I'm confused now. I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. This one, I think, we, we got this place in November. Um, this, the Hard Nussle Printing, the shop in November. And it's been doing good. Um, it could do better, but it's, it holds up, you know what I mean? We're really, really busy. That's why I'm still here late. We got this job to do. I don't even know how many jobs left after this one to do. And then we just got a whole bunch of embroidery jobs in, some DTG jobs that just came in, some vinyl jobs that came in. I got like four tumblers over there I gotta do. So. Yeah, so stay busy over here, super busy. So once I do it full time, once I start doing this full time, I'll be able to go home in time, I guess. Right? Yeah, hopefully. But those of y'all that just got here, we are doing we are screen printing some shirts on the Anatol Thunder. Check that. Check out that beast right there. And, and it's a five color job. The good thing about the side clamps, the side clamps on that thing, like it has all the micro registrations on it. And I don't even like I don't even have to use the micro registrations because of the side clamps. This, because of these two things right here, like it's it makes it so much easier to uh line up a job see and emily says and more in the pipeline and i'll talk to you whenever i um, have a chance emily about another job that kept calling while you left eas what's that man what's that eddie what is that Lou Flores, what's going on? How you doing? Thanks for joining all these crazy people here. We stopped to um, eat real quick because the wife brought me some some dinner. Some enchiladas. Mm-hmm. They came by my shop the other day. Check it out. Oh, you can hear it? I was hoping you couldn't hear it. Not because I don't want you to hear it. Because I don't want YouTube to be like, oh, that's copyrighted. Oh, February. Hopefully, February. ETS. Ours is ETS. Trying to, they're trying to get me to promote on the radio. One of the, one of the stations here.
like, geez, we already put up a billboard. What more do you want from me? But uh, so ETS February. But I might get extended for a year. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Aaron. So like I was saying, like, I hope it's not too loud. And then YouTube is like, that's copyrighted music. So I listen to iHeartRadio because I was stationed in Hawaii for three years. So that's my my feel good music. You know what I mean? So I just put it on Island 98.5. You've been to Oahu, you know that channel. But, started pouring down, huh? Elsa's coming. Let it go. <laughs> She's letting all that rain out right now. Hey, here's something that I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start doing a monthly giveaway, right? And it's going to be random. It's going to be random. It's going to be to a subscriber. It's going to be to an active subscriber. What's up, Juan? What's going on? It's going to be to an active subscriber. I'm going to do a giveaway every month for an active subscriber. And what I'm going to do is I am going to get your um, logo somehow without you knowing. Kanyohe, Kanyohe Bay, yeah. Um, I will get your logo. I will digitize. I won't digitize it. I'll pay someone to digitize it. And then I'm going to send you a hat with your logo on it. And I'm going to do it once a month. If if Richardson's ever um, get more hats back in stocks. So that's that's my that's my plan right there. Uh, coming up in the near future is to... I already have one person in mind that I'm going to be doing it for. I'm not going to tell them who it is. Like I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a video about it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a video about it. And then I'm going to send that person the hat somehow. How am I going to, like, that's going to be hard to do too. I'm going to have to, like, secretly find out where they live. <laughs> no, I will get in, I will get in touch with that person and let them know that I picked them for the monthly mm -hmm. giveaway. And um, that I picked them for the monthly giveaway. And then, and not my logo, but I will stitch mm -hmm. their logo onto a hat. And I will send it to them um, for being a subscriber of mine. Right? And all you have to do is just be active on my live. You know what I mean? You got my address. You have a, like a 10 head machine. You don't need my one head over here check this out one of my subscribers made this and brought it to me check it out so cool look at that appreciate it gina one of my subscribers one of my followers one of my buddies here locally works in a wood shop made this for me check that out that's legit that is legit. I don't know. I think when I moved it, I was carrying it from the top. And I think it broke it. My wife and them do it as a joke, man. Look, he said, just like your shirt, you're dope. Oh, you dope. <laughs> he is dope. <laughs> they just make fun of me because people oh, people come into the vinyl stand and they're like, oh, Joe, he's, his videos are so dope. And they're like, oh, man. So... If, for my birthday, they made me this shirt right here. And they're like, you gotta wear it, you gotta wear it. So I just wear it to the shop. I think I already got ink on it today too. You like those? Over here stealing stuff, look at him. These are mine. Yeah, that's the first order I had when we first opened. Some lady ordered them in Texas. Mm -hmm. see. They sound jealous. <laughs> they say y'all sound jealous. Haters. We're his biggest fans. Man, I've gotten so many haters, man. It's crazy. <clears throat> We're your biggest fans. No, they they love it. Um, 
I'm getting ready to put out. I'm getting ready to put out a video of me and my daughter screen printing. She did the whole order. I was so, I was so happy she helped me. Um, I just, whenever I, I edited the video and I got ready to put it out and it was, um, get off the pink thinner. Um, I forgot to, I didn't film the, whenever the end of the video. So I'm like, dang it. And it's like, the crazy thing is, here's the crazy thing. Whenever I first started doing YouTube, I had a lot of people reach out, wanting to be, to help me during this journey mm -hmm. of YouTube and growing as a entrepreneur or as doing your own thing, you know what I mean? And as I became more successful at doing this and surpassed these people, they don't like me no more. And it's sad, it's very, very sad. It's so sad that that people are like that. But it is what it is, right? I stay humble to everybody. I'll never change for anybody. That's just me. Mm -hmm. You said it right, Richard. Uh, I don't know how to do it around. All right, so let's get back to this. Good, good. Oh, one more. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat one more enchilada real quick. Just the enchilada. You mold them? Yeah. Trini was like, are you gonna come home and eat? And I was like, oh. No, I was like, I'm making like. I wanted to. She's like, you think he's not coming home? I was busy. I wanted to finish this job. I've had it for like two weeks, maybe. I just gotta, I just gotta print the front of these. Oh, we got our cards in. Y'all wanna see some cards? Thousand cards. Let's see. So this one here, can't show you the number. This is a like a personal business card that we give out to other businesses. So it has our personal number on here. But here's the one for the vinyl stand. Check it out. It's a business card with like a little notepad on it. And you guys know where to get business cards if y'all need them, right? Check out Jason over at Graphics Warehouse. Check him out. Um, Graphics Warehouse. Check him out on Instagram. GWFLA. Try to open it. Mm -hmm. But here's my here's my new ones, my new business cards he just sent me to. He sent me the wrong ones by accident, but it's all good. Did he? Yeah, he put the QR code on there, but he sent me the wrong ones. the The QR code was the ones he was supposed to send were bigger. He ordered these. He made these right here, and then when he went to scan the QR code, it didn't work. Um, so that one's not gonna work. So this one this one doesn't work. But he's sending me. Uh, he said it was my fault. He had the both of the boxes on his desk, and when he grabbed it, he grabbed this one and didn't grab the other one. So I was like, it's all good. It's all good. It is what it is. Like the business cards. He designs them. Whatever you want, he'll do it for you. So I just started doing TikTok is on there, and then our phone number's on there to the store, and then I changed the email from Heart and Hustle Printing to info because... He emailed me before at Heart and Hustle Printing um, for a job. You guys know that I'm really, really bad at getting back to you. So now um, it goes to the info email. Or not 
where Emily gets it, and from there she can send it to me if it's something that needs to be done. So here's the ones for the vinyl stand. With a little spot here, you can write a note on it. So that's the number. If you guys got any questions for the vinyl stand, focus. And then here's the back of the card right there. Owned and operated. Focus. My hard nose are printing. So that is cool. I don't even remember what we paid for these. But yeah, if y'all need business cards, check out Jason over there uh, on Instagram. Check out all his work, GW. FLA. Tell him Joe sent you. Jason's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, we got um, embroidery. Richardson hats, if you do embroidery, you know Richardson hats are hard to find. Besides one has like a stash of them. I got a stash of hats, a bunch of Richardson hats over here too. Um, but a lot of people want the, the black and white stuff. Dallas Salazar, what's going on? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? What's up, Dallas? I didn't know that was Dallas, Dallas. But yeah, I wanted to eat one more of these. Uh... Motown Poo, what's going on? How y'all doing? Did I do shirts for you? The name sounds familiar to an email. That's why I'm asking. Dallas, what's up, man? Motown Poo. The name sounds familiar to an email. That's why I said. Okay, cool. The video's coming out soon. I haven't been able to uh, edit it. Man, it's, it's bad. I, I used to be, I, I am still into YouTube, but I have ran out of time. Like, I don't have time to, like, I'll sit here and I'll record a video. And in the video, like, I did it, and then I don't have time to edit it. I did a video on this automatic heat press that I bought. And I think I did that, like, four months ago. And I still haven't dropped the video yet. That's right, the Say Less shirts. And they sent me the video, that's awesome. Um, I think it was, I don't know if it's the mom or the son that's on here right now, but the mom sent me the video and that was awesome. June, what's going on? My nephew Dallas is on here. What's up, Dallas? All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Okay, appreciate. I appreciate you sending me that video. Like, I don't ever get to see stuff like that. Like, I create, I don't create the design, but he created the design. I printed the design, and then I shipped it to him for you to give to him as a surprise. And I never get to see the reaction, you know what I mean? So by you um, filming him opening the box, that was awesome. That was awesome. So I appreciate you letting me be a part of that, All right? So we're going to raise this up. And we're gonna do this. So we're doing a five color. It's four colors. It's four colors. Yeah, I found. I saw him on Instagram. I saw. I whenever I saw that he added me on Instagram, um, I noticed him right away. And I'm tell him tell him I'm sorry. You know, tell him I'm sorry. I was looking through his Instagram just to let him know that I'm sorry for what happened. So we're doing um, the five color job, like I said. Let me see. Let me see how we're doing this. Here it is right here. So we're printing the white. That's the white underbase. 
white under base? Okay, appreciate it. Okay, yeah, let me know. So we're doing the white under base here. After I do the white under base, we're printing the gray. After the gray, I'm printing the, this is a blue that I made. Um, I have a teal, a teal blue, and I added some white to it. We're all watching from the house. Appreciate y'all. Um, and then I added some white to it to get this blue color right here. So that blue, I lightened it up. So this is the color that it was. It was this teal color right here. You see how dark it is? And then by adding some white to it. What's up, David? How's it going? It's a family affair. What's up, bro? So by this, see how dark it was? By adding some white to it, I changed the color. So I did that. So that's the blue. And then we're coming back and we're hitting it with some black right here. The black is for the roof and the words. And then the last thing that I'm coming back with is a white highlight. If you can see, this right here is printing just that right there. It's just a white highlight, right? So that's what we're doing. And I hate that they left these stickers on here. But it is what it is. So let's go ahead and print this. We can see how it's going to look. I can, but I just hate doing it. Oh, this one's already done. And as you guys know, I use the equipment from Anatol. I was sponsored by Anatol. I don't tell anybody that I bought it, and I'm very thankful that they uh, sponsored me for this equipment. And those of you that just got here, whenever we print it, this is what it looks like. So that's the that's the front, and then I already did the backs before this. So that's the back. graduation class but that's the one I want to knock out first uh, direct the garment this was like a random shirt they had in there so I'm not even doing wet on wet but the benefits of doing it is um, whenever you do it it builds up the ink will build up on the bottom of the screen so as you're printing, um, you don't have to worry about it sticking and pulling up, from what I know. I usually, I usually um, print, flash, print. That's how I do it. It might look like I'm printing wet on wet but I'm not and I'll show you so my flash dryer is see if you can see it right here so check it out you'll see it turn on so it has a sensor on there that whenever I so that it doesn't constantly stay on it will um, turn off as it as it's needed it stays on for however long I leave it on so I have it on for six six seconds right now all right so we're gonna print the white first Bring the white around. This is the white under base. 
See that? So you put a white underbase on something like this because you want it to, uh, if I print some of these colors onto this blue right here, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to be vibrant. The colors won't be vibrant, you know what I mean? They'll be, they'll be like a dull color. So by putting the white underneath it, the colors will be the true color that it needs to be. So there's our white. What's up, Lou? You like that, Dallas? All right, so now we have our white underbase on there. Someone was asking me the last time I was doing this, what's the purpose of putting white if you're just going to cover it? So like right now, um, the CSRA and underneath here, I don't know what happened to this under here. There's supposed to be some words under here, but they didn't, they didn't print it. I don't know what happened. It's weird. Um, you look at, you look at this wrong one. If you look at this one, see these letters? right here you can probably barely see them but right here there's some letters and that's what i'm printing next and i'm surprised it didn't print the white un under the with the underbase you know what i mean um so it is what it is but it's still coming out good so i'm not worried about it all right so we got our white down and now we're gonna hit it with our gray and with the gray we're putting a, a box around this the crs the csra property and then underneath it is the website so now, you see that? We did that and that, and then a gray box around it. There's our gray. The next one we're going to bring around is the blue, our light blue. Let's do this one. Our light blue. You saw that one, right? There's our light blue. This isn't fully fully dry. It's still tacky. So there is there is some print on the bottom of these whenever I'm doing that. There is some blue down here on the bottom. See if you can see it. See how this is the black that I'm printing, but you can see that there is blue ink on the bottom. And that's okay. That's all right. It's all good because it's just printing. If it does transfer, it's transferring right back onto the blue that's there. So now we're doing our black, which is going to do the roof and the word service, which is this roof right here and this. See that? That's our black. The last one, Jose Lopez, what's up, man? The last one we're doing is the white highlight, which is the outline of the roof. Because if you look at the roof right now, it's just black, right? So we're doing the outline of the roof and then this square box. Now 
that looks good. I'll show you. Um, you probably can't see it because it's just like two thin lines. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. Those of you that just got here. registration came out really good on that because like I said this press makes it so easy to do that makes it super easy super easy I'm doing some blue shirts and some black this is my last blue shirt right here How does this happen? All right, I'll send it to you one whenever I pick you. Selling elotes. <laughs> lotes. Freddie told you that one, huh? Felicia. She said, when are you going to start selling you what this? All right, Juan, take it easy, man. I'm going to open up a, um, a corn shop. lake this weekend and I was telling my brother we were making some corn out there on the husk you know what I mean with some mayonnaise and some chili powder and parmesan cheese you know what I mean and I'm like man I should start selling these things No, I am using a rip. David, I just found out it was a rip. I didn't even know it was a rip. Shows you how much I know. Um, and the one that I'm using is um, simple, simple steps. You know what this is? Everybody saying it. You gotta put the exclamation mark behind. There you go, yep. Elotes. Huh? They're probably all drinking and chilling and watching.
Oh, is it? <laughs> so I'm using simple, simple steps to uh, separate my separate my uh, my colors. And then whenever I separate my colors, I guess with that program, it makes a really dark film whenever I print it out. I didn't know it was a, a rip software at first. So I was telling people that I wasn't using the rip software whenever I was. See that, bro? One color, white shirts. We are running a sale if you guys are interested here also. We're doing um, a one color job, white shirt for five bucks. One color job. White shirts, five bucks a shirt. You guys are interested. Fifteen. Fifteen is the minimum, though. You have to get fifteen shirts at least. If you guys are interested in that, um, so dope. You can um, email info at hard muscle printing.
What up, Rai? What's going on? Video? This is my video. Right here. What you see is what you get. Printing. That's my, these are my videos right here. I got time for that. Confiscated. Right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Huh? I wonder why. Some people say their video is not look at ink on me. That videos aren't working for them. This live's not working. Appreciate that, right? Congrats, sucker. Is my Wi Fi on? Look at the loom tees. What up, what up?
Hmm? There's like 10. I don't know if that's why, because it's not working. I'm just gonna let it run. Let it run. Some people are saying they can't get on, they can't see the video. Just, just, just thinking, I guess. We're almost done. So what? all she wrote see david said lost video joe it's back that's what my wife was saying that she couldn't see it either but if you didn't hear what i had said earlier david um for the rip software i do use a rip software i didn't know it was a rip software And it's uh it's the one I use is simple steps. Simple steps steps. Here's where they come. Just landing in there. And then I'll take them out of there and I'll fold them and get them ready to be delivered. We don't deliver them, but the customer can come pick them up. So this thing takes about 30 minutes to cool down. Yes, Simple Steps is a Corel Draw plugin, add-on plugin, yeah. You wanna see? Yeah, it take, this, thing, this thing right here takes about 30 minutes to, to cool down. I let it get to like 200 degrees. I don't just turn it off. Cause if you turn it off, that thing is 700 degrees in there and it could melt that belt. Mm -hmm. Check it out. See if you can see it. Yeah, see that? 700 and 
present temperature is 725 degrees. So if it were to stop, if this belt were to just stop and stay neutral, it will melt. So you'll see whenever I turn it off, it stop. You're gonna see this thing like go fast. Watch it. See how it sped up? So now it's in the cool down phase. So from 700, see how it's dropping 721, 720. I got it. It'll get to like 200, a little under 200 degrees, and it'll shut off by itself. I usually, I usually stay here until it shuts off. And after it shuts off, just to be on the safe side, I turn off the breakers for both of these. Not because um, it's not safe, just just to do it. Just to just to turn them off. Yeah, so it's it's pretty good. I like it. So we'll, while that thing is doing that, um, let me lay these shirts. I'm banging y'all everywhere. All right, so what I'm gonna do is. This is my clean cart right here. I have a dirty cart with all my inks on it, and then I have a clean cart where I keep all my t-shirts, and I don't put no ink on this one. It just came out good. So there's the front, and there's the back. I haven't even got to do a DTG, um, a DTG video, man. I've just been so busy with everything else. That's why I just been posting on Instagram. Yeah, even uh, if David, if you're still here, even even with that simple simple steps, it also whenever you go to separate it, gives you registration marks already in the program. So that's cool too. That it comes with that feature whenever you separate your inks, I mean separate your colors.
hand, I'm sure. I hope they wanted this done. They had it in the box. So, one random polyester shirt. Looks good though. Almost dropped it. When you forget to cover the registration marks, look at that. Look at the back first, the back came out good. Is what it is. Now the fun stuff, right? Can't find my gloves. I bought a whole, we have a whole box of gloves. And after the thing that we did for 4th of July, I'm not sure where they went. This is why you charge a setup fee. Because now, all of this has to be clean. Purpose white from Total Link Solutions. All the ink that I used in this was from Total Link Solutions except the black. Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't bought any cleaning cards. I was going to order some today, but I didn't order none. Ordered some uh, some pallet tape. Yeah, these can all be cleaned off. I usually don't clean the white one because I always use it in the white.
fun stuff right here. That one, we got black and sun. This is the blue that I made. I gotta find where I put it. Right here. So I was making them and putting them inside these right here. I would just go to the dollar store and buy these. Um, I use it. I use it in a. It probably will, David. But I use it enough to where it doesn't dry up. You know, I just leave the white. I leave the white just like that. It's open. I leave it like that. I don't put much in there. I only put like so much. Um, it's a gallon bucket, but I have a five gallon bucket in the back. Um, so I just put in there just so much in case it does dry up. It's not going to be a lot, but it, it usually doesn't. See, I, I was buying these from the dollar, the dollar tree, maybe a dollar general for a buck. And I just ordered these right here. Clear ones. So that I could put the store better. I already got it dirty. Sheets. Huh? Always making a mess. Look at this. Look at this. Look at my shoe. Brand new shoes. Brand new shoes. But yeah, so I bought these. If you guys are interested in these right here, um, there's a link for Screen Print Direct. They sell these uh, empty ones. Huh? Told you like 30 minutes takes forever. Um, these containers, I, I was telling you where you can get them from, Screen Print Direct. There is a link in the description for Screen Print Direct if you guys are interested in these. And I think they're like two bucks. So I ordered, I ordered a bunch of them. I say a bunch, but it's, I think it's like eight. Oh, do they really? You could probably find them online cheaper. Though. So now I can get rid of that. What happened? Here, now I'm gonna label it and call it Hard and Hustle Blue. What happened? I don't know what happened, right? Did it go away? Is that other movie? At the house? Yeah. yeah. I'll be there in a minute. I'm just waiting for that thing to cool down. Um, yeah, so I was just, um, I just finished screen printing those shirts. I already put them over there, out of the way, out of the danger zone over here where everything is dirty. Um, and now I'm cleaning up while my, uh, I'm cleaning up while this uh, conveyor dryer cools down.
You know, it takes like 30 minutes to cool down. Huh? All right. So there is the new container for the Hard and Hustle Blue. <laughs> but it's, this is better than these things right here. Look at this. See, I bought a bunch of them. There's, oh, there's eight left, so I think I bought ten of them. Here's what they don't show you in screen printing videos, right? Yeah, so then these spatulas here, just wipe them off. You guys are interested in these spatulas too, right? Again, there's a link down below for Screen Print Direct. That's the cheapest place I found them. Five bucks. Use that, use that affiliate link down there. I think you get 10% off your first order if you order through them with that link. Oh, let me show you. Is Rice still here? Where you got them? I've been looking for those. So go to Screen Print Direct. Screen Print Direct. Right here. These are, these are five bucks. Anywhere else, you go to like screenprint.com, you go to any of those other ones, they're like 10 bucks, eight bucks. Screen print direct, five bucks. Use the link. They have a bunch of them. And I have more over there. Hey, so if y'all just got here, I know the, 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 the video feed had messed up earlier. Um, I said I'm going to start doing a monthly giveaway. I'm going to do a monthly giveaway. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be picking a random subscriber every month. And what I'm going to do is embroider them a cap. Oh, the containers, Screen Print Direct, also, they also carry that stuff. Real deal. Are they are they the long ones? When I ordered when I went to the dollar store, all I could find was those little tiny itty bitty ones. Is rice still here? I wanna show rice something. So what I'm gonna be doing every every month, I don't know what days yet. Damn, look at me. Every month I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. And what I'm going to be doing with that giveaway is I'm going to pick one random subscriber every month. I'm going to steal their logo. And with that logo, I'm going to make them a hat. And I will give it away. It's going to be, they're not going to know about it. I will do it. It's just going to be whatever color I think will go with their hat. I'm not going to let them choose what hat they want. I'm not going to let them choose what hat they want. I'm not going to let them choose what style. I'm just going to steal their logo off the internet or wherever they have it. Oh, that's that's what's up for a dollar. Um, I'm going to steal their logo. And with their logo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to digitize it. And then I'll make them a hat. I'll make a video about the whole thing. And then I will send it to them before I put the video out. So that's cool. That's something that I want to start doing for my subscribers. But not Rai, if he's still here. He has a he has a Tajima. He don't he don't need to be involved with it. Would be a pita? Like a pita like the bread? I already have someone that I'm gonna do one for whenever I start to do it. Someone that's been following me for a really long time. I have a couple people that I already have in mind um, that have followed me for, for a long time and have always been active since I since I started YouTube. So 
for those that have stuck around, even when I, I'm not really focused on YouTube, you know what I mean? Yeah, no problem, man. I'm glad it worked out for you. It was something that I did that I could, hey, if I could share those. Oh, a pain in the, got it. Um, these are, get these right here, buy these, invest in these. I'm slowly building up my, uh, whatever, inventory, my arsenal. I've got four of them now. This is one of the first ones that I got. I don't like this one. I think this is too fat. I still use it. Don't get me wrong. I still use it. I just don't like it. Um, I had a subscriber come to the store too. Soap Team, what's up? I had a subscriber come to the store. Um, I had that squeegee that you could push with two hands. Um, and I gave it, I sold it to him for like 20 bucks. He was passing through. He was like, hey man, on your live, you said you didn't want it, but you would sell it. You want to sell it? And I was like, sure. What's that? You need to buy what? That ergonomical squeegee? Is that what they call it? So now I got a... So right now, Soak Team, right now I'm doing a sale. White shirts, one color design, five bucks, 15 minimum. Plus setup fee is like 15. Domino, what's up? So right now, that's what I'm doing. So here's what I'm doing right now. So as you can see, I always use the same shirt same couple of shirts for cleaning my screens. Look at this piece of POS over here. Oh, I just hit my knee on it. That right there is a piece of POS. This one's a 70. That's why I don't like it. Look how flimsy it is. That's why I don't like it. Whenever I go to print, the whole thing like bends. Six inch. Um, I don't remember what these were. Well, I think this. I think these are 72, but the way they're built, they're just built a whole, whole lot better. Like they're harder to. They don't bend as much as the other one does because you see how much leeway is here, how it goes up. But these are legit. Are you like if you had too much ink under here and under here? You unscrew this and this will open up and then you just take that piece out. I just hit my knee on that press on the floor. So then when I get a majority of the ink off. No, this is plastic salt ink. Yeah, so if hey soap team, if you if you want um white shirts, one color, um 15 minimum, send me an email to info at hard muscle printing. Five bucks. We're running a special right now. See how, see how good that cleans when you have the right when you have the right chemicals. When you screen print, make sure you buy this right here. Screen opener. You're gonna need it. Screen opener is good to have.
So a screen opener, this is what it does. Check this out. For those of you that don't know. So you see this right here? So even though you can get so even though you can get a majority of this income, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get all of that in there, right? But with this, to me it smells like WD-40. When you spray this in there. See how easy that stuff comes out? See how, see how clean it is now? Oh, you can't see it. There it is. Oh, there it is. So look how clean that is now compared to when I remove this, this tape right here. See that? It's for any of the any of your dried ink. So say I, I didn't finish this job tonight. If I didn't finish this job tonight, and I just left it here. Tomorrow when I came back, like anything that was stuck inside these prints right here, would have been hard to uh, get out. When it, whenever you go to press it, what my print it, what's gonna happen is um, it will. Uh, not print right there because it's going to be full of ink but with um plastic saw ink you have to use check this out so if i try to clean this just regular like you see how this just see what it's doing it's not doing nothing right so you got to have you got to have the ink remover I don't know what it does, it breaks it down. And then, see how easy that breaks it? Breaks it down to come off. And then I like to get all the ink out of the screen because a lot of the ink will stay in the screen like that. So I try to get it, as much of it out. So when it comes to uh, reclaiming them, it's not so hard. You don't have to use a lot of uh, haze remover to clean this stuff out of the screen. Remove your tape. Cause if you try, if you're using a pressure washer and you forget to remove this, and you hit this with a pressure washer, the pressure washer is not going to take off the tape. What it's going to do is it's going to make a hole in your screen. I'm telling you, cause I've been there, done that.
if you're interested in seeing me clean these screens. So this job is done. I'll, I'll clean these screens off today and then tomorrow or I know we got a bunch of other jobs coming up in the pipeline. Like Lindley said, that we got a screen clean. So I need I have more screens. I just hate to leave screens with emulsion on them if I don't if I'm not reusing them. You know what I mean? So if I can take the emulsion off and everything off of it. And I'll do that just to take it off. No reason to leave it on there. Last one. So thirsty now. All right, man, take it easy, dude. No, I don't save them, David. The only time I save them is if, if someone pays for them. So I charge people, um, I believe it's, man, what was it, $35, 40, no, 45 So if someone came in and wanted to buy the screen to save it for another time, I charge them $45. And basically, they don't have to pay the setup fee if they come back for this job again. But if they don't, I charge them the, tip, the setup fee. This one wouldn't make sense for them to buy this print. This is this is five screens at forty-five dollars a piece. Five dollars or forty. So five screens at forty bucks is what two hundred dollars for this job right here to keep it. I mean, I guess it would pay off. You know what I mean? Because this is a hundred dollar setup right here. It's clean. <laughs> so those are done. We're done with those. These are now clean. All six of these are done. They need to be um, reclaimed. Clean these two up. See, like I was telling you, I do have Richardson hats. You can see them, my stash back there. That's my stash over here. My stash of Richardson hats. People do come in and buy them. They'll be walking by. They'll be walking by the window, come here and buy them. Let me go see where this is at. <clears throat> so 
So it's at 210 degrees right now. So it's got a little bit more to go and it'll be done. I just got this in, check it out. Check this out. Look at that. It's the wrong color, which was red. But isn't, oh, isn't that legit? Sublimation mugs. Fred, what's up? 11 ounce mugs there. My number one seller. That's what's up. Yeah, but if you guys need some shirts done, some white shirts. We're doing a we're doing a special right now. Um, white shirts, one uh, one color, five bucks a shirt plus setup fee. So just think, fifteen dollars a setup a one color job, plus fifteen shirts would be seventy. So eighty five. What is it? Eighty five. Eighty five dollars for fifteen shirts. Here's what we got coming up. These. Those. Can't touch anything because look. Some DTG stuff. Some direct to garment stuff that we got probably tomorrow. Since I finished this job. Crazy. Still running. See, David, I told you. Um, I don't even know how much to ship to New York. It all depends. We just go by weight. You know, usually we charge you. We charge the customer for the shirts. They pay for the shirts, and then we do the shipping later on. It just finished. So it just finished. So I don't know how long that was, if anybody timed it, but probably like 30 minutes. But it's worth it. I would shut this thing down and I will wait here until it turns off because... Are we still here? The other screen that was up there was this one right here. This is the job I did the other day too. All curves, no brakes. Which was... this one but that's it it's done the job is done we used that thick shirt you need that oh let me show you something did you just get here right or you've been here yeah 30 it's about 35 minutes for that thing to cool down and for me I'd rather wait here and let it totally cool down and make sure it turns off. Oh, let me show you something. Check this out. I gotta do an unboxing video of it. It's already unboxed, but I gotta, I gotta box it. I gotta put it back into the, I gotta put it back into the box to unbox it. Check it out. Appreciate it, right? I know what that is. <laughs> the 
That thing has been legit, man. That thing's been legit, so I gotta unbox it. When I unbox it, Ryan knows what it is, but those of you that don't know what it is, um, you guys will see later on what it is. I'm just not too uh, too fond of the color, you know what I mean? Because everything else is hard and hustle red, but that is green, is what it is. All right, so I'm out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys. You have to stay tuned, David. I'm gonna do a video on it. I've had that thing for probably, yeah, I'm gonna paint it red. Um, I've had it for like a month maybe and I haven't unboxed it yet. Um, they sent it to me. I told them I'd unbox the video and I haven't done it yet, so I need to do it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for keeping me company. Lori for bringing me dinner. We ate dinner. Uh, she outdid you, right? She brought it to me. You shipped it to me from Cali. Lori's like, watch this. Yeah, she brought a, what is it? Um, I don't say tamales, not tamales, uh, enchiladas. She brought some enchilada rice and beans over, so we were eating that earlier. Yep, so I appreciate you guys for stopping by watching this live. You guys got to sell me, print that four color with an under base to make it five color chest piece i had already did the back <clears throat> before i went live and then we ate and then we cleaned all that mess up can't find my gloves from the fourth of july i gotta find them so let me go try to get all this stuff off me but appreciate you guys stopping by thank you guys for all the support thank you guys for everything Cleaning the ink. I always do. Like, I'm, they always, uh, Emily tells me that I'm killing Smurfs. Look at that. Yes, David, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Remember, there's no, there's no logo that's too hard to do. We'll make it happen. All right, David. So I appreciate you, David, all the support. Um, the rest of you guys, thank you guys for all being here tonight. The ones that are still here. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing giveaways every month now. I'm going to be picking a random person, um, not a random, it's got to be a subscriber, someone that's active during my lives. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snatch your logo, uh, digitize your logo, stitch your logo, send you a hat um, so that you guys can have one. All right, so um, appreciate you guys. Fred, take it easy. Have a good night. Um, the rest of you guys, have a good night. Stay safe, stay healthy, and until next time, keep pressing.